dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, original crew, man? We back. Uh, another tier list. Last week was crazy. With the lizards. Mm-hmm. A lot of lizards. Uh, that's a whole nother list. Oh, uh, <laughs> we got the snake tier list. Uh, one thing I do not like, for mm-hmm. sure, for sure, is snakes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, yeah. hey, I understand, you know what I'm saying, what they good for. Because they actually are very useful in society. But it's like when they be coming into your personal space, you like bit bad the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I don't like snakes. Have y'all ever had like a snake in you, like around a crib or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Them joints. Yeah. Be, have y'all ain't scared to come outside? They scared to come outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been 90 days. <laughs> you know we gonna catch it now later. Like, <laughs> you be like, man, y'all ain't finished scared. We can come outside, bro. Where the mothballs <laughs> <laughs> Uh uh-uh, uh, Hey man, with that being said, we ain't gonna hold y'all. We finna go get into it, man. <laughs> Make sure y'all check out the links in the description box. Down below. Go ahead, check out those links, man. We got Patreon, we got other YouTube channels, we got Facebook. Y'all go check out the links, man. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, like it with a thumbs up. Well, I highly appreciate it, man. But with that being said, let's see what uh, the tier is for the snakes. <sighs> What's nice to be doing? Keep that grass cut. Uh Oh! Oh, Already? Snakes are one of the most feared classes in the game, with a number of powerful builds and a vast array of uniquely lethal abilities. However, some of these strategies have clearly been more successful than others. So in this video, which was sponsored by Curiosity Stream, we'll be going over the snake tier list to see which builds rank highest. But before we get into looking at specific snake builds, let's do an overview of the basic attributes and special abilities the snake faction has access to, as well as a quick rundown of the history of the snake faction. So snakes are one of the newer factions in the game, joining the game's roster during the latter part of the Mesozoic expansion. They began as a niche offshoot of the Lizard faction that was specifically adapted to burrowing gameplay. And in order to best min-max for the most efficient burrowing, this player base eventually opted to completely drop the legs attribute. This ended up being a far more successful gambit than anyone could have anticipated, as it not only granted these lizards better burrowing ability, but also opened up a bunch of other strategies to them. While the snake build first hit the scene during a metagame dominated by dinosaurs, They didn't become a huge threat in the meta until after the main dinosaur powerhouses were banned in the KT balance patch. During this chaotic post-ban wave meta, snake players experimented with some crazy builds, including the giant Titanoboa build. But while Titanoboa's giant size granted it short-term success, I think the strategies that the snake player base went on to specialize in are even more effective. Fast forward to today's meta, and snakes are one of the most successful predator factions in the game, owing this success to a handful of powerful, unique abilities. The most obvious of these is Slithering, the snake's unique mobility option that it gained in exchange for losing its legs. At first glance, this might seem extremely limiting, as snakes cannot jump and move more slowly than they would if they could run. And while those are significant limitations, the ability to slither does open up a lot of other options to snake mains. Rather than jumping over barriers, snakes can oftentimes find a way to slither through them. This gives snakes access to a lot of areas of the map that are normally much more difficult to access, and means things like dens, nests, and other player-constructed bases are often less effective at keeping snake players out, which makes them one of the best classes at spawn killing. Slithering also allows you see how that motherfucker just swallowed the egg? He swallowed the whole Damn, RP to the little baby bird, man. The baby bird ain't. Never even had a chance in life. Damn, he got a boarded soul. Not, not. Comparatively large build to remain very close well, to the my, ground and yeah, benefit from the stealth bonus of even the shortest grass and foliage. Despite not having claws, snakes make for highly effective climbers, making it very difficult to ever truly get out of reach of a snake. 
Still, as a rushdown option, slithering tends to be too slow to reliably catch up to other players. So while snakes may not have the ability to chase you down, they've spec their movement kit to ensure that nowhere is ever truly safe from them, and if you let your guard down, they'll be poised to capitalize on it. Oh, a snake's sorry. basic strike is a little on the weak side for such a dangerous predator. Their bites can't deal that much damage on their own and are easily blocked by armor. It's for this reason that snakes tend to spec into various venom effects to infuse their bites with. Snake venom can have a variety of status effects, which we'll get into more as we progress through the tier list, but in general, venom greatly increases the damage potential a snake can deal with its bite. Without this, many snakes would have no means of defense and would be completely helpless when caught out in the open. Instead, snakes are one of the most feared classes in the game, but which snakes should be feared the most? For that, let's get into the tier list. So the lower tiers on this list contain members of the snake faction known as Colibrids. This is the largest group of snakes and contains almost every snake build in the game, except for the ones you're actually afraid of. Starting at the very bottom of this group, we have the Garter Snake, one of the weakest snake builds in the game. Data miners are actually unsure whether or not this build is venomous, but if it is, it's some of the weakest venom in the game. And with no other offensive abilities, the Garter Snake essentially only has favorable matchups against things far smaller than it, like frogs and mice. Because they're so vulnerable, Garter Snake players love to attack aquatic targets like tadpoles and small fish. But they have no actual abilities that synergize with this playstyle, nor is it a particularly good swimmer, and therefore takes on considerable risk when they venture into the water. Garter snakes are also caught in an endless loop of wasting a ton of evolution points, evolving extreme toxin resistance to the poison of a specific newt build. This isn't very efficient, but I guess the garter snake needs to preserve its few favorable matchups. Next in F tier we have the racer snake. This is a snake build that put an above average number of evolution points into mobility, making it one of the fastest snake builds in the game. That's Damn, that bitch can run. I ain't mean, bro. Ain't no way in hell my ass is in the way. I'm a trip. Oh, my leg! My leg! My leg! Oh the motherfuckers say, yeah, the leg looks all the scrumptious. <laughs> really saying a lot given that snakes tend to have pretty poor movement speed, but credit where credit is due, this does give them a much better chance of dashing into cover when under attack. Unfortunately, as with a lot of mobility-centric builds, this alone isn't enough to make them competitively viable. In fact, even with their above-average slithering speed, they're usually still too slow to chase down many of their preferred attack targets. They are also worse climbers than most snakes, making them one of the few snakes that can be countered by simply climbing out of reach. In almost all cases, a snake's worst matchup is against birds, and unfortunately for the racer snake, speed usually isn't much use against a surprise aerial mm. attack. Their lack of practical applications for their signature abilities plants them firmly in F tier for me. Next on the tier list we have the vine snake. Now, there are many highly effective arboreal snake builds, and all things considered, the vine snake isn't terrible. It's got great stealth and is an excellent climber. But I mean, just look at this thing. With the lowest HP and defensive stats of any snake, this build folds to absolutely any attack. Vine snakes entrust their survival to their above average stealth stat, but if that fails and the vine snake is discovered, they resort to intimidation. Their intimidation tactic consists of sticking out their brightly colored tongue as a warning. Much like with the blue-tongued skink, I don't consider this to be a particularly effective defensive display, especially when this warning is backed by some of the weakest venom in the snake faction. Definitely not F tier due to its decent camouflage. I say this though, it's the nicest looking snake we've seen thus far though. Cause of the green color. Yeah, that green color, that, that thing That's hit pretty. a little different. It hit a little different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You could have molded him up a couple tiers so he could blend in with his surroundings. <laughs> but saying. with nothing else going for it, it's stuck in D tier. Next in D tier, we have the Tiger Keelback. This snake build breaks the mold when it comes to toxic strategies in snakes as rather than dumping all of its evolution points into Venom, the Keelback also allocates some of its resources into becoming poisonous, meaning that they can inflict the toxic status effect both when dealing damage and when taking damage. This extra defensive ability definitely raises the Keelback's ranking compared to most Colibrid snakes. However, overall, it's still not that great. Both their Venom and their Poison aren't all that potent, and it's possible that going all in on one of these strategies might have been the better play in the long run. Still, the Keelback strategy does mitigate one of the Colibrid faction's main weaknesses, though, 
which is that they have a hard time using their venom defensively. Many colubrids, including the vine snake and keelback, are venomous. This is useful because, I mean, how else would a snake barely thicker than a piece of spaghetti deal any damage, right? The problem is, colubrids lack the efficient venom delivery abilities found in the more dangerous snake builds. Their fangs are located at the back of their mouths, and these fangs don't actually inject venom. The venom is just kind of part of their saliva, so to deal any damage with it, they need to really chew on their target for a good chunk of time. As you might expect, this makes individual strikes from most venomous colubrids quite harmless, as they don't contain much venom per hit, and they also can't really use their fangs unless they get a really solid bite in. So the keelback's poison does sort of cover for this weakness, which is great, and for that it gets to the top of D tier. However, a defensive poison is by no means the only way to mitigate the drawbacks of having rear fangs, as we'll see as we move out of the low tier and into mid tier. At the bottom of C tier we have the Bwemslang, the most venomous snake build from the Colibrid faction. This snake kinda just does everything the vine snake does, but better. It's an excellent climber and has great camouflage, but also packs a devastating bite with extremely overpowered venom for its tier in terms of potency. And while it does have rear fangs, they're significantly larger than most colubrids. But its best adaptation is that the Bwemslang can open its mouth far wider than most snakes, allowing it to deliver a venom-infused bite in spite of the unfavorable location of its fangs. This allows the Bwemslang to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with high-tier builds like the Chameleon, as well as let it use its potent venom as a defensive threat rather than solely just a hunting tool. Fight! Now obviously this is still far from ideal. Its venom is quite slow acting, making it not that useful when under attack. In my opinion, the Bwemslang is the perfect example of a snake that really just needs one or two more buffs to be a high tier build, but in its current state it just doesn't quite get there. At the top of C tier we have our last member of the Colibrid faction, the King Snake. The King Snake is a large snake build with no venom based abilities. Instead, ooh, ooh, this is the first Constrictor ooh, build crushed. on our list. It's Constriction ooh. is a type of grappling attack. Shit, my back. God, <laughs> oh, no vertebrae. Uh, see, it, you see how it rap, you see how they rap and just squish the life out of? I see. The motherfucker really be like, ooh, we finna go to the store and get, a, get, get the rat so we can feed the snake. Uh, like, you have, you have, come on now. I'm like, what well, a snake gotta eat, but damn. You ain't gotta have no snake. That, when properly executed, results in a guaranteed KO, even on extremely large targets. Its main drawback is that this attack strategy is highly vulnerable to disruption. A Constrictor player has to be able to survive all counterattacks from its target while attempting to restrain it. So with that said, you'd think it'd be very difficult to use this technique against a venomous snake, right? Snakes are so flexible that it's very difficult to grapple them without giving them an easy opportunity to bite back. That's where the King Snake's second ability, Venom Resistance, comes in. The ability to ignore all damage from a snake's venom makes the King Snake's matchup against other snakes horribly one-sided. Just for good measure, King Snakes have high enough accuracy on their attacks that they tend to go for the head, which negates a snake's counterattack potential even further. This is about where oh, no. the King Snake's- oh, Some just don't sit God. right with me with that. I ain't never seen a snake eat another motherfucking snake. They eat them from the head to the- Yo, that's some don't sit right with me with that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so disturbed with the snakes. I guess because I don't my, like snakes and I'm just like, oh my god. How do snakes shit? Get the shit out of do do they shit? I mean I would Or do they throw it up? You get know what I'm saying? Mm. How does it come out? How does it cause every time I see something come up out of a snake, I'm like, it didn't digest. <laughs> you know? Like it yeah. didn't break down. You know, yeah, let me yeah. go eat a piece of rabbit. I bet it break down a little bit, you know. Yeah. And it's going to come out, you know. Looking, One way or another. Looking some type of way. Mm -hmm. Only thing we... <laughs> it's corn. Corn, you just sit. Okay. Like, but, yeah. But, but, but you get what I'm saying, though? You be yeah. like, what the fuck? How it die? You be like, it was dead before it went inside. Don't make no deals. <laughs> eat me alive. <laughs> Supremacy ends though, as the rest of its matchups are pretty standard for a snake, and with no venom of its own, it doesn't pose much of a threat to players it can't reliably immobilize in its coils. Luckily, there's a pretty simple change a Constrictor build can make in order to increase the effectiveness of its constriction, size. Boas and pythons are the poster children for this type of strategy, being the only snake builds that can be properly classified as tanks. While technically these are two different factions, 
They are functionally extremely similar and both contain specific examples of highly effective tanky snakes. Although boas and pythons have no venom, their large teeth and incredibly high physical stats Damn. make them more than a- Damn! y'all just gonna oh. leave a baby deer? Y'all just gonna leave him? Y'all don't know why I'm so disturbed! Y'all just gonna leave the baby there? What they gonna do? Fight. What they do? They could've, they could've jumped on the track. He ain't fighting them! <laughs> I'm, I'm always used to them. Yo, oh my gosh. I'm so bro, sad the baby. <laughs> That's a baby, bro. Okay. <sighs> that baby ain't had no beans going out like that. Boas and pythons have no venom. Their large teeth and incredibly high physical stats make them more than a match for just about any player that challenges them directly. With their thick scales and huge size, it's very difficult to defeat one of these in a 1v1 quickly. Their ability to tank a lot of hits during a fight means that even extremely Ooh, powerful builds like the Tiger mouth. are able oh! to play a full battle if they choose oh! to stand and fight. Oh! Well statted builds with high defense and DPS, like the Crocodilian factions, are easily overcome with brute strength once a boa or python uses their piercing fangs and powerful coils to trap them in an infinite grab combo. Drawbacks to the constriction strategy are vulnerability to third party attacks and the immense cost of failed kills. Yoink. While many constrictors have the size required to challenge other large builds, going after too powerful a target can expend a disproportionate amount of oh. HP compared to other snakes. As large builds are often more conspicuous, the most successful constrictor players will make good use of the camouflage ability. Out of the boa faction, the most powerful build is without a doubt the anaconda. These are among the heaviest of any snake and by far the tankiest with an HP stat that renders most physical attacks almost negligible. While anacondas are significantly less viable on land due to their greatly reduced speed on terrestrial maps, their mobility, stealth, and camouflage bonuses in the aquatic meta make them nearly unbeatable in that biome. Anacondas are capable of serious speed when their buoyancy abilities can counteract the limitations of their enormous size, making nearly any unsuspecting player who enters the water an easy target. Their eyes and noses are oriented towards the top of their faces, allowing them to expend minimal energy while camouflaged in aquatic vegetation, waiting for the perfect opportunity to carry out an ambush attack. Despite their formidable base stats and proficiency in highly specialized forms of gameplay, the See, fact that the anacondas one? are only truly viable in aquatic environments limits their utility and places them squarely in B tier. The most competitive build in the Python faction is the Burmese Python. While many snake builds are competitively viable only on certain maps that suit their specialized abilities, Burmese pythons fit into more of a jack-of-all-trades playstyle and have sufficient mobility in aquatic, terrestrial, and arboreal biomes, in spite of their large size. Burmese pythons are therefore excellent generalist builds, and as seen with many other generalists, they have been causing serious disruption in servers that they weren't meant to be spawning in. Burmese pythons have totally destabilized the meta of the Florida Everglades, due mostly to the pythons' extremely one-sided matchup against non-social mammal builds, and a lack of the type of builds that normally keep the python player base in check. Now, thankfully, the current top tier of the Everglades is quite capable of defeating or repelling a python in single combat. But because the alligator's dominance is restricted to the aquatic zones, pythons essentially have complete control of the arboreal zone, which has led to a drastic reduction in players running mammal builds like the rabbit, raccoon, fox, and bo- They gonna say in the comments again, why is he so goddamn chumpy? Now I understand some attached, see, but you are- <laughs> Like, see, here you go, here you go. So, so you see a snake is. <laughs> you got one look. Watch it. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> While Burmese pythons come in at the top of B tier due to their versatility, their low speed stat and lack of venom makes higher tier snakes much more viable choices for most gameplay styles. While some this snake builds in lower tiers can use the venom skill, placement in A tier or higher rides almost exclusively on we choosing to dump a majority of evolution points into maximizing venom efficiency and delivery methods. Members of the Viper class dominate the A tier. Among the most feared builds in the game, Vipers have a variety of special offensive and sensory skills that help compensate for their generally low defense stats. Their long, hollow fangs are placed at the front of their mouths and can pierce most armor to deliver lethal doses of venom. But one drawback to the flesh-destroying hemotoxins used by most builds in this group is that they can take a while to immobilize players. Most Viper builds also spec into the infrared heat-sensing ability, 
making them extremely powerful nocturnal ambush attackers and compensating for their lack of speed. <laughs> Some members of the Viper faction tack on tail adaptations too, for access to the intimidation oh. and luring abilities. But these perks are minor compared to their raw offensive potential. Coming in at the bottom of A tier are Gaboon Vipers, combining the highest defense stat of any Venomous build with near unbeatable stealth and an incredibly high strike speed. Despite their bulky appearance, Gaboon Vipers are almost <laughs> invisible to spot during gameplay and are notorious for destroying unsuspecting Bitch, players move. due to the sheer volume of venom delivered during an attack, despite their relatively underpowered toxicity compared to other vipers. With the longest fangs of any viper, they can deal significant physical piercing damage in addition to any toxic effects caused by the venom. They conserve energy by remaining motionless when not in combat, and are rather difficult to provoke into unnecessary confrontation. While Gaboon Vipers are an excellent choice for ambushed base play in jungle maps, their lack of versatility and low aggression means they can be easily outmaneuvered by other builds. Cottonmouths rank slightly higher in A tier due to their rare ability to use the skill set of the Viper class effectively in the Aquatic Realm. As the only Viper build in the game with aquatic adaptations, their potent venom and fishhook shaped fangs make them incredibly effective at farming out fish and frog players for easy XP. This build specs into the caudal luring ability at lower levels, allowing yeah. them to quickly become competitive and shed this ability at higher levels in favor of better camouflage. Cottonmouths are also relatively tanky and escape many combat situations by using intimidation tactics. Their dominance in aquatic maps makes them able to occasionally overcome more competitive generalist builds, but this is limited by biome and therefore not useful during the majority of gameplay. Rounding out eight. I don't care no more motherfuckers about these damn snakes. The snakes we see, shit. I'm, I'd rather have them bitches than any other ones we've seen thus far. The little motherfucker to be around the house. Around the Oh. I'm like, they ain't gonna bother nobody. That's why, I, like, you know how motherfuckers be out in the, in the wilderness and in the forest mm -hmm. and talk about, came across a snake. You said came across what? Keep your black ass in the, I'm gonna keep my black ass in the house. <laughs> I ain't got no time. Bro, because it literally, uh, this chick I went to school with, she used to talk about hiking the Appalachians all this fucking time. And I'd be like, dude, what? Why do you just want to go outside and, and, like, why? Some people are adventurous. Hey, that's your no, answer. it's shit out there that don't, don't need to be bothered. Say <laughs> your ass at the house, man. Like this shit. Is the rattlesnake. Best suited for desert and forest biomes, these snakes combine a variety of overpowered special abilities with well-allocated base stats. So you're telling me I'm, I probably would be better off fighting against an anaconda than a rattlesnake? You got me fucked up. <laughs> a path, pathons and anaconda. I'm talking about them. You said what? Nothing. But a rattlesnake is higher than... No... There's a snake in my boot. He was talking about a rattlesnake. <laughs> I, well, I, was, I was trying to think. I'm like, well, are they, they a little bit more like... They blow on the tear. So I'm like, shit. Okay. They venom ain't as dangerous, I guess. But there's some big bitches. I'm... <laughs> These snakes combine a variety of overpowered special abilities with well-allocated base stats. Rattlesnakes are highly capable builds for ambush-based stealth play due to their ability to create thermal maps of other players in low visibility situations, which makes them one of the most effective counters for mammal players with the night vision ability. Instead of risking health by grappling with other players, rattlesnakes deliver a lethal amount of venom in one quick strike and then use their prey tracking ability to find them after they've succumbed to toxic status effects. One major advantage for rattlesnake players is the highly effective rattle intimidation technique, which allows them to scare off more powerful challengers without wasting venom or risking serious damage. While rattlesnakes sit at the top of A tier due to their relatively well-rounded stats among members of the Viper class, all Viper builds are still classified as glass cannons and tend to lose out against opponents with quicker acting venom, superior Oh, speed, you saw or... how they ripped that bitch apart! Did you see that? Oh! I seen some, but I, oh. I, I didn't know that this Oh, was. baby! Oh, they ripped the little baby apart. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that, that's it. HP to tank their attacks. 
Snake builds placing an S tier overcome the weaknesses of other Venom users by maxing out mobility stats and employing a variety of highly effective Venom delivery techniques. The most competitively viable snakes spec into heavily neurotoxic Venom, granting them the ability to inflict toxic damage and status effects far more quickly than lower tier Venom users. While these buffs come at the cost of base defense, S-tier snakes are only really weak to the rare few players with Venom resistance or effective bite evasion skills. Coming up first in S-tier is the Cobra build. With impressive base speed, these snakes can actively chase down other players rather than having to solely rely on an ambush strategy. Variants of the Cobra build can spec into moderate aquatic and climbing proficiency, allowing for particularly well-rounded gameplay. Their fast-acting venom is mostly neurotoxic, but can have mixed toxic effects that melt through flesh and maximize the amount of pain inflicted. Even elephant players, the tankiest terrestrial build in the entire game, can be taken down by the ridiculous amount of sheer toxic damage inflicted by a well-placed bite. While all co- Look. I say go back, baby. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Jeez. Yo. The mother is- I, I can't help it. I'm sorry. Okay. Bro, that shit is funny, though. <laughs> go, go, baby, go. Don't let them motherfuckers I'm stick like, up on you. We don't, we don't tolerate that bullshit. Don't let them motherfuckers <laughs> invade your privacy, man. You don't mind your business. You gotta stop. These little motherfuckers. I do not like snakes. Okay, come on. You gotta stop, though, man. <laughs> have forward-placed fangs to maximize venom delivery, mm. spitting cobra players can use the only ranged attack oh, in the entire snake oh, class by spraying venom up to 2 meters through holes at the front of their fangs. This move has high accuracy and can permanently blind other players when used effectively. Cobra builds advertise their power by using a unique hood modification, intimidating the vast majority of players away from trying to challenge them in the first place. With enough offensive capabilities to take on an entire team of attackers at once, it's no question that Cobras are one of the most competitively viable builds in the Snake faction. Next in S tier are Sea Snakes. With full aquatic adaptations and special underwater sensory skills, these builds can access hard to reach areas to demolish even the most competitive fish players. Their fangs are relatively small compared to the closely related Cobra builds but this works in conjunction with a special attack style. Their venom is some of the deadliest in the game, but causes almost no pain, meaning that other players may not even know they've been hit before fatal toxic oh, damage man. sets in. While they are effective at using trickster tactics to take down enemies independently, Sea Snake players can also hunt in teams to capitalize on their own offensive potential and compensate for their low individual HP. This build does have a bit of a high skill floor though, and inexperienced players may struggle at playing around the Sea Snake's defensive weaknesses. The Sea Snake build has a unique playstyle that can be hard to master, but with the ability to 1v1 eels and win, this build sits at the top for those who enjoy a challenge. The final build on this tier list is the Black Mamba. With incredibly overpowered base stats for their class, including ridiculous damage and speed, the Black Mamba is by far the most competitive snake both in terrestrial and arboreal combat situations. Their speed isn't just with respect to movement, the lethal venom of the Black Mamba takes effect extremely quickly and can decimate on, enemies of any fella. size due to the high hang dose delivered in each bite. Black Mamba venom imposes a variety of neurological status effects including respiratory failure and vision loss, making them one of the most fierce. Let me get a RIP, man. Damn, boy. This is so sad. Damn, boy. I told you to hang on. Hang on. Little fella. Opponents in direct combat. Mamba builds have an extremely aggressive and fast-paced playstyle that leaves little room for counterplay, especially considering that their HP and defense stats are among the highest of any Venom users due to their large size. While they don't have any unique moves to speak of, Black Mambas dominate by using strategies common among Snake players and do so to an exceptionally effective degree. Topping the charts with the highest DPS potential of any Snake and respectable defensive skills to boot, the Black Mamba is the undisputed ruler of Snake builds. Snakes are by no means meta-defining, but it's still worth knowing how they stack up against each other and what their main strengths and weaknesses are. There's a lot more to snakes than just their general combat abilities though. How do snakes deal with cold damage? How can snakes climb trees so easily without claws or cling pads? If you're really interested in knowing all the ins and outs of the snake build, 
I highly recommend checking out this video sponsor, CuriosityStream. They have this excellent document. But nah, bro, those snakes, man. And Black Mamba would be number one, huh? Out of all of you, like, everybody know about that Black Mamba. I didn't think the anacondas would be, and the pythons would be so low. That does, that did surprise me, though. Did it surprise you? Not really. For them to be as low as they... That cobra bad motherfucker, though. I just... Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. The cobra, yeah. The cobra could... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's a whole different playing field when you can spit at me. Mm -hmm. Bitch, don't spit at me. <laughs> <laughs> if you want me, you better bite me. I'm, I might be juicy, but don't spit at me. That's... Mama always says spitting at somebody disrespectful. That's disrespectful. <laughs> That's about the Lord. You can. You gonna spit your. Uh, you gonna spit your vent. Come on, you gonna spit at me? See. Mm -hmm. See, don't spit on me, bro. All everything you do, don't spit on me. That's the number one violation. I feel you. Them a bitch. You spit. Oh shit! I can't see. <laughs> the motherfucker coming. Ah, bitch! Don't bite me while I can't see your. Ass. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's Them so. You like, oh shit, mother! And you can't do nothing, mother! Ow, shit! They see you don't. Ow, what bitch you fight? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's low down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even get it out. But that's some low down bullshit. That's low down. Man, fight there. Just fight there, man. Fight what? Fight there. <laughs> that's how you said it. He ain't fight there. Fight fair, bruh. That's all. Fight fair, man. Quit spitting on folks. And how the people y'all <laughs> all size, bruh? That's the message for today, huh? Fight somebody your own size. Fight somebody your own size. Y'all be picking on little shit. And y'all be getting got by y'all own big ass homies. Facts. You know what I would like to see go at it? A python and an anaconda. Them big, them big bitches that be swallowing humans. Mm. They love human meat. They, every time you see a human in that bitch, that bitch come up out of it. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. And they be still, bruh. I'm like Rick and Morty shit. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and then just, I be like, damn. Keep a knife on, on you. If you get in there. <laughs> yeah, bitch, you thought. Probably about... Nah, by the time you go in... I'm about to say, by the time... Because I'm trying to figure out... By the time you get in... Suffocation can't... Yeah. Ain't no breathing in it, bitch. But I'm still going... You going to try? <laughs> get some, man. I can't take you serious. I got to do... I got to do something. I can't take you serious. I got to do something, bruh. Hey, don't... Hey, and don't go in, in the comments thinking I'm being serious and shit. It's just all... Please not. Just, Please. But just know these motherfuckers are, are crazy, though. That's some crazy snakes, man. <laughs> Learned a lot today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't no cobra spit, though. I, that's what, I yeah, knew about the thing, because, you know, they come up yeah, after the thing, they be that. dancing, they be... <laughs> they be... I feel like I've seen one. No, well, probably not. But what, what if one of them motherfuckers come out, they be <laughs> with the thing, and they forget to de-vang uh, de them, mm -hmm. and then the motherfucker come out. <laughs> it's all spitting on everybody. <laughs> you be like, oh, shit. I'm not. I thought we were just here to see a dancing snake. Now the snake got us dancing from it. But, oh, shit, it's in my eyes. <laughs> yo, yo, please send help. Hey, man, make sure y'all spell my sup in the comments, man. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts about it in the comments. But it's always. I do go with the name DJ Duke Kid. This is We are. Yeah. Go and get it. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my folks. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partner.